Dr. Robin with Sports Chiropractic today. We're here with Jessica and she asked a great question. She said, why does my hamstring hurt when I'm sitting? So first of all, a lot of people have hamstring pain. A lot of people have, uh, you know, hamstring stiffness and they kind of linger a lot. But I'm here to tell you today that they shouldn't. Uh, if they're lingering, it's because you're, you're not knowing what to do for it. So the first thing I'd like to do at home is, if you want to test yourself, do you have a hamstring issue? Uh, Jessica, go ahead and bring your left leg up. So you, you should be able to get 90 degrees easily, effortless, without pain or tightness, and come on back down. And let's do the right side. So they're actually just about even today, and you can bring that back down. Last time we'd say this was maybe 10 or so degrees less, I'd say, right? So that has held up and improved. Just in that one visit, her range of motion is, is definitely significantly better, but it still felt a little bit stiffer compared yeah. to the other side. So let's have you bend here. And Ryan, if you want to come around here this way. Um, so she had asked, you know, why does her hamstring hurt uh, when she's sitting? And basically we said that there's a couple of possibility of reasons for that. Number one is the origin of the hamstring starts on the bone that we sit on called the sits bone or the uh, ischial tuberosity. So if you're injured in that area, you're sitting right on it. So that can be why it hurts when you're sitting but also in that area is a bursa, and that can be really sore when you're sitting on it. So that's the number one reason. Number two, when we're sitting, our hamstring is, is contracted, which means that it's shortened. So Jessica was having a lot of pain going from sitting to standing, right? Yeah. So when you're sitting for a long time, you're shortening that muscle, and all of a sudden you stand, and it's like you know a rubber band that has some super glue on it. As soon as you pull and stretch that super glue, it's gonna hurt. So that stiffness, that tightness, is like that super glue. When you short it for a while and go to stretch it, you're gonna kind of rip and pull it. So that's usually uh, another reason why that hurts when you're sitting to standing. So best thing is to get up kind of real slow, real easy, kind of ease into the stretch. And the last reason is because a lot of times the hamstring uh, is mistaken for sciatic issues. So the sciatic nerve and the hamstring uh, pain can present the same way. So sciatic pain um, really will come from the low back, maybe the discs, or even in the piriformis muscle in the glutes. So when you're sitting, you're compressing and you're squeezing you know, that muscle or that nerve, or the same thing with your back. There's a lot of force on the discs when we're sitting. So those are the three main reasons why your hamstring hurts when you sit. And um, we had talked about you know, the hamstring could be a real lingerer, something that doesn't really heal very fast. And I think that uh, from what I've seen you know, at, at FAU, that's probably the most common thing that I treat with our, with our football players. And my advice for you is if you have pain in that area, you need to treat it early and treat it often. Because what happens is once you strain that hamstring, it fills in with fibrotic tissue or scar tissue. It's that super glue we were just talking about. So it'll heal really tight. And once it heals poorly, the problem is that unless you're getting someone to really patiently, like I'm doing right now, scan through each of these long, thick hamstring muscles, you're probably never gonna fully break up that scar tissue. So I think if you're having a hamstring issue in sports chiropractic, we'd love to help you. We're very successful with this. You should see a better uh, range of motion like Jessica saw in just one visit. Um, you should have a reduction in pain and hopefully an increase in your function uh, really shortly after too. Um, but if you're getting therapy somewhere else, just make sure that they're doing something like this where they're scanning through you know, every square inch of each three hamstring muscles, really trying to lengthen and break up any tightness in there, and also giving you some exercises to do at home to really strengthen that area and talk you through how you can get back into activity. So I want to thank Jessica for letting us video this today, and I hope that uh, answers any questions on why you may have some hamstring issues, what you could do about it, and uh, we're here to help you if you need anything.